Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here, back with another Blade & Soul video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at FPS and how you can improve it in the game. So this is an issue that a lot of players have and are always asking me for a solution for. So here we go, an updated video on how to improve your FPS in 2019. Now I'm on a Windows 10 machine, so all of these things are going to be targeted towards a Windows 10 audience, so I do apologize if these don't all impact you. However, there are some changes in here that are on multiple different versions of Windows, so hey, maybe one of these will work for you. I have a scene at the end of the video, about a minute and a half, where I went through to Mushin's Tower and basically compared the FPS's between fighting the dummies with people around and then cha making the changes and seeing what the FPS was after, so be on the lookout for that at the end so you can actually see what it is. And real quick, before we begin, if you are new to the channel, new to Blade & Soul, or are enjoying the content on the channel, please consider subscribing as it does mean a lot to me. Without further ado, let's get into it. So we're going to start off in the training room, and we're going to do it against General Moyen since it's the most controlled boss that I can think of since it doesn't move at all and has a pretty set rotation. We're going to center the red circle on his chest on the center of the doors behind us to kind of get a guaranteed sort of frame of reference because as you change your background, you'll get increased or decreased FPS. Like if you look down at the ground while fighting a boss, you're going to have higher FPS than if you are looking up at the sky while fighting the boss. So we're going to keep that dot centered just to make sure that we're getting a consistent result here. And we're going to start off with just a general parse with no settings changed whatsoever other than what you would have changed or had from playing the game. So I'll show you my settings right now for in-game settings. So these are under the graphics option and then the advanced settings option. So these are the options that I have set up. Now Unreal Engine has issues with bloom and motion blur and all of these things. So if you're looking for maximum FPS, you can go ahead and kill these. If you are trying to record really sick YouTube videos though, make sure you have those all fired all the way up so people think you have the best rig in the world. Um, but when I'm generally playing, I have all these turned off. High quality physics doesn't really matter too much because there's not really too much going on with that. But anyway, so ch unchecking all these boxes are going to be your best bet. Also make sure that you have your extra effects, special effects for other players set to minimum, and shadows are a killer on the Unreal Engine system. So if you want to drop these down to zeros, you can as well, and they will improve, improve your overall performance. Otherwise, these other options aren't going to have too much of an impact on your final results. The terrain visibility and object display visibility basically impact your draw distance, so... If you are having real issues, you can drop those down as well. And of course, if you're having major issues with FPS, you can just go like this and hit apply to all and drag those suckers all down to the ones. But anyway, these are my settings in game, so copy them if you want or adjust your settings based on the information that I've relayed to you. So what we're gonna do next is we're just gonna get a, like a baseline statistic here of what our FPS is in game. Obviously I have a pretty solid computer, so it's not gonna be too much of a reflection. The end of the video where I show you fighting in Mushin's tower with a bunch of people around will give you a better idea of the actual settings or actual stats, but anyway, we're gonna do you know the baseline test here. So we're gonna go start off with like a full-on combo, keep that red dot centered, and you can see we're hovering around 92, 89, 93, 98, and then eventually we stabilize just under 100. Now it looks like it's dropping back around 90. Bouncing between 90 and 100 pretty much is our, uh, our baseline right there. So if we hit retry and to reset the boss, now we're gonna go through and make all of the changes that we uh, wanted to look at here in the video. So. The FPS meter is up here if you didn't see what I was talking about when I was looking at it, so if you want to rewind the video and check that out. But anyway, the first setting that we're going to change is head on into your task manager. To get to the task manager, it's control alt delete task manager, or right click on the taskbar and task manager. So in the task manager, you're going to want to navigate to the details panel, so it's going to drop you off in the processes, navigate to details, and find client.exe. What you're going to want to do with this is right click it, and hit set priority, and set it to real time. This is basically going to make it so that the Blade & Soul client has the maximum computer allocation at any given time. Everything will always be driven towards the client.exe, which is the Blade & Soul client. So right-click that, set priority to real time. That's our first change we're going to make. Next is going to be on the NVIDIA control panel. So to get to the NVIDIA control panel, drop into your desktop, right-click, and you will see NVIDIA control panel. So this is what the NVIDIA control panel looks like. You're going to navigate to the Manage 3D Settings option and you're going to select Blade & Solar Client.exe. If it is not available here, click the Add button and search for Client.exe on this thing, or Blade & Soul by Bloodlust, whichever one. Anyway, what you're going to want to do on this one is navigate to the Text Filtering Quality option. So for this one, you're going to want to check High Performance, and just click Apply. That's the only change we're going to make on the NVIDIA Control Panel. So change the Text Filtering Quality to High Performance. Next change we want to make is going to be on the performance options for Windows. So to get to this, navigate to your Windows search bar in the bottom left of your screen and just type in perf. It's going to pop up this menu that says adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. So click on that, that brings up the performance options. Click on the adjust for best performance option, it basically unchecks every other box on the menu. Click apply and click OK, well we're going to leave it up so don't click OK yet. But anyway, you would click OK when you were done with this. 
The final change to be made is in the game itself, so if you click on the Blade and Soul icon to head back into Blade and Soul, and hit Windows key and G on your keyboard. So after hitting the Windows G key on your keyboard, the following menu is going to pop up along the bottom. The actual OBS software does not capture this menu, so I have to go through and do it in Paint because, you know, low quality content creator. Anyway, so we've got the turn off game mode option that's right here in the bottom. It's this little speedometer or like gauge icon down here. It's going to be disabled by default, so it'll have a little do not enter sign there. What you want to do is click it and enable it. Basically make it so the little do not enter sign is not there, so it's open. You can use Windows game mode. Uh, this is actually going to give you a pretty solid FPS boost. Basically what it does is disables all sorts of different background tasks while you're playing the game to maximize your overall performance in game. So anyway, we're going to redo the same little intro or fight that we had earlier and show you what we get as a more stable FPS. So just start off once again with our little basic intro combo and you can see we are over 100 right now in this first initial burst. So we're hovering above 100 and then once the thing stabilizes, it's going to hover around 110-ish. So there we go, we popped up to around the 109, 110, 111 mark, and we're hovering between 105 and 110. So in our first parse, we netted about a 95 to 100 FPS after everything stabilized, and in the second parse, we were between 105 and 110. So that's about a 10 FPS increase, or a 10% increase to our FPS, which is a solid boost for just about anyone, no matter what rig you are on. 10% of an FPS boost is a solid number especially for not having to do anything other than change a few settings on your computer. So you're actually going to see that same 10% FPS increase reflected in the second part of the video here where I'm just going to like drop the clip in and let you see how it all works out and plays out. So you're actually not going to be hearing from me anymore in this video. So I do hope this video does help improve your FPS and give you a better gaming experience in the game. And if this video does help you, make sure you leave a like and comment in the comment section below saying how it helped you. If it doesn't do anything for you, pretend you never watched the video. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed so you stay updated when new content comes out, and I will see you at the next video. Peace.